Previously on... You could say that I've been looking for something that's been right in front of me the whole time. Oh my god, you're such a nerd. Going to Earth Fair, oh yeah! <laughs> so, we have like tons of really good drink options. Uh, one of my favorite things, and also one of Paul's Iceland favorite things. Spring water. Is, uh, is the ginger beer that they have here, and also these kombuchas, water kombuchas. Kombucha is, uh, it's almost like a tea, if hmm. you will. Pineapple mint, that sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and they have like so much, like root beer, ginger beer. That that ginger beer is the best ginger beer I've ever had. Really? Yeah. And you want to be quoted on fun. that? It is, it is my favorite <laughs> ginger beer. I will advertise it. Like I said last time, I love music. It's such a big part of my life that I feel like it's having a relationship with a physical person. You could say that I've been looking for something that's been right in front of me the whole time. Let me explain. In my relationships with people, I avoid shallow connection like the plague. I don't care about small talk. It takes me no time at all to understand the surface level of things about people. I want to know what makes them tick, their true hopes, their dreams who they really are. Getting to that level with anyone is not something that they're usually comfortable with, but I honestly don't care. I'll push until I can get there, and if I can't, I move on. Simple as that. I mean, I get it. Being vulnerable sucks. Bearing yourself to people is scary. You never know what response you'll get, but who really cares? You are who you are regardless of what people think of you, and if you're different with different people, someone like me is gonna see right through you. So just be yourself. The real question is, what does any of this have to do with music? Well, it has everything to do with music. For me. As I said, I avoid shallow connection, and often this is why people have avoided me in the past. I didn't really have a lot of friends in high school for that reason. In music, I found a companion that gives back as much as I give to it. Through it and because of it, I can say exactly what I think and feel, and it's not judging me or trying to vie for my attention for itself. It understands that I love and appreciate that which is brought out of me and continues to. It's not jealous or insecure or requiring that I continually affirm it of my love for it. It's just there for me and it's always with me. Calm, steady, strong. But sometimes I need time away from it. It's not that I'm tired of it. It's not that I don't love it. But like anything that I've intensely loved and cherished, sometimes I can't handle the energy and attention that such a relationship requires. Still, if I'm away from it for too long, I'll miss it, and I'll get legitimately emotional about that. This is where it falls off with most people, and I mean that in a very literal sense. People just disappear, and all for the same reasons. I try too hard, or not hard enough. Here's the thing though. I have a relationship that is purely unquantifiable with something equally as unquantifiable. And my passion for it flames and wanes depending on the time, but it's always been there for me no matter what. Sure, it's not an actual person, but it's more of a part of me than anyone else ever has been. Isn't that enough? For some people, that isn't enough. They need all the latest gear, the newest drums, the nicest guitars the specked out computer with the fancy interface and all the crazy software that goes along with it. But if you take all of that away, in the end, is there something there? For me, I can confidently say yes, because I love music and it loves me back. It challenges me, it grows along with me, 
And unlike those tangible things, it never fades away. It's always in my head and my heart, and my love only grows as I grow. I've had a lot of people try to tell me how to think and feel, but I'm not dealing with that anymore. I love what I love shamelessly, because while so many people who claim that they love me have come and gone, music has always been there for me, and I know it always will be. So, the next time that you tell me that music is my hobby, just remember, music is my love affair. Is this just fantasy?